Hello! Welcome to what will be the first in hopefully a series of videos. A few months ago I started learning how to play the recorder and now I've decided I would like to work my way through the grades and I thought I might as well vlog my progress along the way so here it is! <laughs> Recently, Trinity College London started making their classical jazz rock and pop grades available to take digitally. Basically, you video yourself completing the various elements of the exam, send it off to Trinity and await the results. But we'll get round to all the video stuff another time. So I'll be starting at the start. Um, well, there is an initial grade that comes before grade one, but I'm going to skip that and go straight to grade one because I'm a rebel like that. I just want to point out this isn't any sort of guide for how to do the grades. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got no musical experience, no experience with the grades, and I've got no teacher and no one to ask what I'm doing. I'm going to make mistakes, I'm going to get stuff wrong, but let's carry on anyway. For grade one, you can use either the soprano or the alto recorder, and I'm going to go with the soprano. For the first element of the exam, you need to decide whether you're going to play scales and arpeggios or exercises. Later on, you choose three pieces of music to play from a given list, and I'll be looking at that in a future video sometime in the future. But today, let's decide between scales and arpeggios or exercises. Exercises are short pieces of music given in the Trinity book um, to test things like articulation, tone and phrasing and finger technique. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I actually really enjoy practising scales. I always have done. Um, so I think I'm going to go for scales and arpeggios instead of exercises. If you go onto Trinity's website and check their latest syllabus, you'll see that there are two sets of scales and arpeggios to choose from, and you do one or the other. And then if you get their book, this is their latest book, um, the scales and arpeggios are given in the book. So set A is a scale of F major tongued, a scale of D minor slurred, and a tongued C major arpeggio. Set B is a tongued C major scale, a slurred D minor scale and a tongued F major arpeggio. Well, there's not that much to choose between them, so I think I'll just go for set A. Why not? If you choose to do exercises, you can read from the music during the exam. But if you're doing scales and arpeggios, you have to memorise them. No music allowed. So it says in the book that the minimum tempo for scales is 72 crotchet beats per minute. I'm guessing in the exam you don't play along with a metronome, um, but I'm not sure. This is already a point where a teacher would have been useful. Um, but I'm guessing you practice with the metronome and then just do it from memory in the exam. Anyway, I have a metronome. That's 72 beats per minute, and this is F major. D minor slurred. It does say in Trinity's syllabus that it is the candidate's choice whether they want to play the scales in their natural harmonic or melodic form. So I've just played D minor in its natural form, and to put a minor scale into its harmonic form, you raise the seventh note, the seventh tone, up half a step. So in the case of D minor, you're playing a C sharp instead of a C, which is this. Thank you. 
and to play a minor scale in its melodic form, you raise the sixth and the seventh tone. So in the case of D minor, instead of playing a B flat, you play a B, and instead of playing a C, you play a C sharp. But only on the way up the scale, when you're descending back down the other way, everything just goes back to normal. I think I've just made it sound more complicated than it actually is. This is what it sounds like. With regards to melodic, harmonic or natural forms of the scale, I think for the exam all you need to do is write on your entry form which one you're planning on doing, and I think I'll probably just stick with the natural form. And for this one little um, tongued C major arpeggio, the minimum tempo is 120 quaver beats per minute. That sounds quite a lot faster than for the scales. And doesn't feel fast when you're playing it. And just for the sake of it, um, let's have a go at one of these exercises. <sighs> Let's have a go at Kyoto for tone and phrasing. It's a very good job sight reading isn't tested in um, the digital grades. Well, I think that's scales and arpeggios pretty well covered. Next time I'm going to start looking at the pieces I might be playing for the exam and that's the exciting bit. If you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you see all of these future grade vlogs. I also make lots of other videos all about the recorder. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye!